now we come to this line anumana anumanam idanim vaktavya aha anumanam idanim vaktavya after quite a few pages see is extremely difficult to translate yukti deepika word by word to make it intelligible to make it intelligible aha anumanam idanim vaktavya the first question is aha kasya punar atindriya sannikarshe pratyakshatvam praptoti uchyate anumanasya kasma taddilling darshanat asannikrishte vishaye bhavati he says which is that object of which we have knowledge but with which our sense organs are not in contact he says that is the object of inference inferential knowledge as i said we infer fire if we don't see fire we can see fire if we see smoke so fire is not an object with which our visual organ comes into contact our visual organ comes into contact only with smoke but because of our knowledge about the universal concomitance universal relation between smoke and fire we are able to infer fire infer the existence of fire on the basis of our perception of the existence of smoke so he says ah anumanam idanim vaktavya i think when i when i was speaking on perception i said some of the things which you get a translation of the yukti deepika you will allow you will agree that i have covered quite a few things which are contained in the passages which i am not reading out right <coughs> says uchchate uchchate trividham anumanam akshatam anuman is of three sorts three kinds vidha means kind anuman is of three kinds anumanam tri prakaram acharai akshatam acharai thinkers sankhya thinkers have said that anumana is of three kinds these three are purvavat sheshavat samanyato drishtam then is it tatra purvam iti karanam uchyate then it defines purvavat purva means karan purva means karan purvavat it purvam iti karanam uchyate jasya hi yat karanam sa loke tat purvak it तत्पूर्वक इतुच्यते वॉट एवर हैज ए सर्टन कॉज वॉट एवर हैज ए सर्टन कॉज इट इज कॉल्ड एज बेस्ड ऑन दैट एज प्रोसीडिड बाय दैट तत्पूर्वक एज प्रोसीडिड बाय दैट so it is called purvavat exam through examples we will be able to understand it pure yatha tantu purva kah pata just as cloth a piece of cloth is tantu purva ka since it is made up of threads threads precede it 
threats come first and a piece of piece of cloth comes later. Is that accepted? Tantus are the cause. Jaya tantu karana hai. Karana hai. Jiska jo karana hota hai. To pat ka karana tantu hai. To pat jo hai tantu purvak kaha jayega. Purvavat. Tantu purvak kaha jayega. Artha jiska purvak tantu hai. यथा तंतु पूर्व कहा पटा जैसे कि पट जो है लाइक पट इस तंतु पूर्व क हैज तंतु एज इट्स कॉज इन द बिगिनिंग इस प्रसीडेड बाय इस कॉज नॉट इन द बिगिनिंग इस प्रसीडेड बाय इस कॉज पट फॉलोज इट्स कॉज राइट सो देयर इज ए टेम्पोरल रिलेशन of priority and posteriority. Purvata Pashadvatta. Purvatva Pashadvatta. There is a temporal relation of earlier and later, of before and after. Even logically, even logically, many philosophers say that a cause proceeds temporarily its effect. But sometimes it is said that cause and effect are simultaneous. Sometimes it is said that cause and effect are simultaneous. Devadatta Purvako Yagjadatta. For example, it is said that Just a moment. Just as he said, Devadatta Purvako Yagyadatta. That Yagyadatta has its cause in Devadatta because Devadatta is his father. Right? Yagyadatta stands for a son and Devadatta stands for a father. And it is not denied by anybody that a father, a person who is a father, happens to be one of the causes. Not the only cause, but one of the causes. Right? A cause need not be the only cause. There may be many causes, many causes, have, as even uh, students of Tarkabhasha might have noticed, right? But there are certain things which are special causes. Sadakatamam karanam karana, like, like in that. There are karanas which are special. Like, for example, in perception, a karan is indriyartha vritti. Indriyartha sannikar. So he says, Yatha Tantu Purvaka Pata. Purvam Asyastiti Purvamat. Purvat. The word Purva means, Purvat means of which there is a prior thing. Purvam Asyastiti, which has some prior thing before it. Or something, rather, I am um, uh, uh, being repetitive which has something before it in sense of time, but temporarily, right? Then after a few lines, we read Tatra Purvat Yada Karanam Abhuditam Drishtva Bhavishyatam Karyasya Pratipadjati Tadjata Meghodai Bhavishyatam Vrishte. Chakravarti introduces the reading Bhavishyatta Bhavitabhyata Vrishte. 
yata megodai bhavitabhita vrishti and here he uses the word bhavishyatvam karyasya pratipadyate there is no not much difference but it was the distinction of pb chakravarti to use the word bhavitabhita later on but kedarnath tripathi and i myself prefer the word bhavishyatva he says yada karanam abhyutitam drishtva when you see that a cause has come into being abhyutitam when a cause has arisen kisi karan ka uday hua hai theek hai kisi karan ka uday hua hai क्योंकि तंतु भी तो किसी चीज से बनते हैं ना सिल्क वर्म से बनते हैं कई कॉजेज है कॉजल चेन मे बी वेरी लॉन्ग सो ही सेज यदा कारणम अभ्युदितम दृष्टवा वेन यू सी दैट अ कॉज हैज अरिजन भविष्यत्म कार्य से प्रतिपद्यते एंड यू आर एबल टू प्रिडिक्ट its effect bhavishyatvam the necessary arising in future of a certain effect that is bhavishyatvam the necessary future existence of a certain thing in the wake of the arising of a certain thing which is called cause लाइक ही सेज मे गोदय भविष्यत्म वृष्ट द स्काय इज फुल ऑफ डार्क क्लाउड्स डार्क क्लाउड्स देन यू से रेन इज बाउंड टू हैपन रेन इज बाउंड टू कम राइट सो द कॉज ऑफ इमीजिएट कॉज ऑफ रेन इज क्लाउड्स clustering of uh, 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 coming together of cluster of clouds the whole sky is permeated pervaded the whole sky is permeated uh, uh, pervaded by the clouds and so say rain has to happen when will happen that may be difficult to say that depends upon god's will <laughs> that depends upon god's will right <laughs> not on mine or yours <laughs> so we say vrishti is tatpurvak vrishti is vrishti meghodaya purvaka vrishti meghodaya purvaka vrishti is varsha rains are preceded by clouds by the coming together of clouds in the sky meghodai megh uday megh means clouds uday when they come into being when they arise in the sky ah naitad asti udaharanam anekan then the question arises that this is not strictly correct that this is not strictly correct nahi meghodayo avashyam vrishte karanam bhavati because meghoday need not be need not be a sufficient cause is a necessary cause of course but it need not be sufficient cause of rains it is possible that there is meghodai but vrishti does not follow that winds come and clear away the clouds right what va di nimitt pratibandh sambhavat i have not translated it so i am coming to the second anumana 
and then he says uchchate and then he uh, then he replies he says yadi tarri karan shaktim sahakari shaktyantaranu shaktyantara anugrahitam apratiyoginim drishtva karyasya vyaktim pratipadyate tajjata lauho dandati sadana sampannena vyaparvata kumbhakarena adhishtitam mridam upalabhya ghatascha tada purvavat he says if you don't like this example let me say this यदि तर्री इफ इफ यू से दैट दिस एग्जाम्पल इज नॉट वेरी एप्रोप्रिएट देन वील हैव टू से से दिस दैट वैन दिर इज अ कॉज बट देर इज नो ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन वैन देर इज नो ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन when the necessary cause is present and there is no obstruction then that very necessary cause becomes a sufficient cause it can ensure the arising of an effect all right do you understand the distinction between necessary and sufficient conditions no you understand let me ask by the other the remainder of my audience do you understand because the world because the world you know uh, uh, because the world you know anugrahita uh, ab the pratibandh the word pratibandh is important karana shaktim sahakari shakti antar anugrahita apratiyoginim drishtva when there is no obstruction apratiyoginam when there is no obstruction sahakari shakti and other factors are present along with those present those factors cannot be enumerated but they must be present take for example a simple fact a simple fact you sow a seed a mango seed now a necessary condition for the coming into existence of a mango fruit or a mango tree is that there be a mango seed and that it be sown into the earth isn't it isn't it there should be a mango seed and it should not be in my hand but in the uh, into the earth deep into the earth this is a necessary condition right i don't know what science will tell us later on but but the idea of necessary and sufficient conditions will all will remain tomorrow some technology may come and uh, and see that the process i am telling you about the coming into being of a mango flower you know turns out to be false doesn't matter right if an example has been sublated annulled or falsified by subsequent technology the principle that there should be necessary and sufficient conditions have to be there so for example the necessary conditions of a mango tree is that there be a mango seed and that it be sowed into the earth right now what are the sufficient conditions any number that there should be watering of it there should be watering of it pani dalna padega us khad dalni padegi us ये देखना पड़ेगा कि सम क्राउड डज नॉट कम सम क्रो डज नॉट कम एंड टेक अवे दीड दैट नो बडी कम्स एंड एंड ट्रैम्पल्स दी सीड एंड एंड रिमूव दी सीड फ्रॉम इट्स प्लेस एनी नंबर ऑल दीज आर ऑब्स्ट्रक्टिंग फैक्टर्स एंड द एबसेंस ऑफ दीज ऑब्स्ट्रक्टिंग फैक्टर्स 
is what is called sufficient condition. Right? For a child to come into being, necessary and sufficient conditions that there be a certain contact between the male semen and the female ovum. I don't know what they call it, right? But sufficient conditions are so many that there is no miscarriage, that there is conception, first of all, there is no miscarriage, then that there is proper sustenance of the mother, so and so forth. Uh, uh, periodically, uh, uh, the poor mother, the expectant mother, has to visit a doctor. Periodically, has to visit a doctor. In ancient India, there used to be midwives. So, and if the labor pains don't increase, as they did not in my daughter's case, then you have to uh, 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 perform a cesarean operation. any number of sufficient conditions. But the necessary condition is that there has to be a contact between a male semen and a female. Right. So this is how he says that when, when from, the, uh, from the perception of something, when from the perception of the coming into being, coming into existence or something, we conclude to its effect, that is, Purvavat Anuman. Right? It's like saying that after meeting God, I thought that there must be a creation. <laughs> if I see God and I conclude, since God is a creator, there must be creation. But that example does not hold here. That is a different sort of example. Because a lot would need to be proved, first of all, regarding God. That there is a God, and then second, that God is a creator. And that he will necessarily create. He can't help creating. <laughs> he can't help creating. Ishwar ko srishti paida karni padegi. Kyoki wo srashta hai. Lekin srashta kaise hai? Why is he creator? Because he creates. But he has not yet created. So how is he creator? So you will have to say, God is a potential creator. But how do you know that God is a potential creator? There is no distinction between potentiality and actuality in the case of God. <laughs> Right? But, Bible says, He will let there be sky and there was sky. Let there be earth and there was earth. Let there be. He will. God will. So, willing is attributed. Ichha Shakti is attributed to God. He must will. He must at least desire. Ekoham bahusyam. Syam. Let me be. Let me be a plurality. Ekoham. I am alone. I am lonely. Lonely I am adding. Lonely I am adding. Aloneness need not lead to loneliness. But it can lead to loneliness. Who knows? <laughs> God may feel he's alone. What should he do? <laughs> then we come to Sheshavat. Sheshavat. Yada Sheshavat. Yada Karya Nirdhitam Drishtva Karan Sadbhavam Pratipadjati Tajatha Kumarakam Drishtva Dvayasama Patti. I have already dealt with this. I'll just translate. When you see the effects, that an effect has been accomplished, an effect, 
and effects has come into being. Not that car, a cause has come into being, but an effect has come into being. Car is nirvritti. Nirvritti means accomplished. When it, it it has been completed. When and when an effect is yes. Ha <laughs> ha. When an effect is complete. Dristva, seeing that karana sadbhavam pratisadyati, you infer, you infer the existence of karana, a prior cause. And now, interestingly, the example given is the one which I have given quite a few times, yesterday and today. Tadjatha kumarakam dristva dvaya samapatti. Just as you see a child, you see an infant or a boy or a girl and you say that there must have been cohabitation between her parents or his parents. Dvaya samapatti. Right? Dvaya samapatti. Right? That is the necessary condition. Dvaya samapatti. Should I move forward? Forward? I have already explained it. And then, and then the, 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 the discussion, why this is not a proper example, etc., and a reply to that discussion. I will have to skip. I don't want to, but I'll have to skip that discussion. But it's a beautiful discussion. It's an interesting logical discussion. Samanito drishton, samanito drishtam nama. Now I come to samanya. Samanito drishtam nama, yatra ekada, arthayo abhyavicharam upalabsha, deshantare, kalantare, tadjatiyo, abhyavicharam tatipadati, tadjata, kati dhumagdi samandam drishtwa, kati dhumantare, agnantaras, astitva pratipadati. This example also I have da already done, but I'll translate this, these lines. Samanato drishtam nama, samanato drishtam anuman happens, such an inference takes place when yatra ekada, when once, and ekada means any number of, any number of occasions will all constitute once. See? In, in trying to know that a certain relationship exists between two different things, I may have to perceive those two things happening together on quite a number of occasions. Like? Like, for example, you know, I again cite the example of a grandchild of mine when he was young about one and a half, he would see that water is coming from the tap. Water is coming. He didn't know what, is, what a tap is, but he would often see any of his relatives, his mother, father, or grandfather, that something is squeezed or not squeezed. <laughs> tap is squeezed or not squeezed. And then water comes, and then it's done like this, then water stops. So he would go there. And you know, children like water like anything. Children like water like anything. He would go there. And he would not brook resistance. He would not brook keeping him away from water. He has to go there. He'd cry. He will let loose hell. I have to go there. And before the cry of a child, of an infant, even God surrenders. <laughs> so his mother allowed, my daughter allowed. Let us see what he does. So he went to the tap, tried to do what we do. And then when, when water came, 
was happy. Now he has learned. What is the cause? What is the cause? And then he will try to close it. He will try to un you know, undo it and squeeze it. I don't know the English word for it. What's that? Twist it like that. And then water was stopped. It became a play. It became a sport for him. Oh. It became a sport for him. It is within his control to let water come out and let water go back. <laughs> within his control. See, this is how we learn to exercise power. Exercise power. Exercise our control over things. That we are capable of doing certain things. When a child begins to walk, he needs a support. But if he has learned how to walk, then he would not need your hand, except when going into market, because he's scared of things around. He's scared. So, Samanito Dristam Nama Jatra Ekda Arthayo Abhya Vicharam Upalabdu. Ekda, at one occasion. All these occasions constitute first or one occasion. Abhya Vicharam. Abhya Vicharam. Abhya Vicharam, they do not deviate from each other. Universal concomitance. Vyapti. Avinabhav. Avinabhav, which I have already done. Abhya vicharam upalabhya. Deshantare kalantare. At some other place or at some other time. At the same place but at some other time. But at, or at the same time but at some other place. It may be two o'clock in Kochi and two o'clock in Delhi. Places are different. And it may be the same place Kochi but times are different. 2 o'clock in the morning and 5 o'clock in the evening. But if you understand the relationship between two things, certain, certain two entities, not any two entities. Huh? You see Jaya, oh, Mr. Ramesh also would be coming. <laughs> right? But this concomitance does not hold permanent is only here and here too not always i may be sleeping and she may be eating it's possible ask her she was eating when i was going out to smoke <laughs> like but yes if you see a child you must conclude that he has parents right so, tajjatiyayo, of the same class, abhyavicharam tatipadjate. Then universal concomitance occurs between two objects of the same category. Smoke must be smoke everywhere and fire must be fire everywhere. Tajjata kwache dhumabdi sammandam dhishtva as for example, when at some place you see the relation between smoke and fire and then at some place dhumantarena agnyantarasya astitvam pratipadjate. Dhumantarena, then seeing some other smoke, dhumantarena, seeing some other smoke, other smoke means a smoke belonging to a different time and belonging to a different place. Agnyantarasya of a different fire, astitvam pratipadjate, the existence of a fire at some other place or time is inferred, is known. Pratipadjate, pratipadjate means is known. That is called inference. Samanitodrishta uh, inference. Samanitodrishta anuma. Right? Is that clear to you all? I've already spoken enough of these, on these matters, I suppose. Though always volumes can be written on these things, I don't deny. There are many problems in that. Right? (laughs) 
آپ کے وچنوں وی ہیو آلریڈی ڈن بٹ ون لائن نیڈس ٹو بی ڈن دس آپ تشتی آپ تو وچن آپ تشتی آپ تو وچن یس آپ تا نام راگ آدی ویوکت آپ تشتی آپ تشتی از دیٹ وچ از شتی آپ تے ڈپینڈیبل ریلائبل But what is reliable? What is reliable? He says, Raga di vijuktas. Raga di vijuktas. A person who is not swept away by passions, impartial, who is not swept away by passions, who is not prone to distort facts either for the sake of one ideology or for the sake of another ideology. It often happens in history. Facts are presented, they are selectively accepted and then represented. And then say these are facts. But facts are numerous, but particular facts are selected. and then interpretation is given at the cost of ignoring other facts which too need to be taken into account in order to arrive at a proper and or fairer conclusion. Therefore, he says, Raga Adi Vijuktas. There should be no attachments to any particular thing. Raga Adi, like a high court judge, he is not swept away by emotions. Oh, this man who, who murdered or raped women yesterday, yesterday means 20 years ago, some, since now the crime has been committed and those women cannot be brought into life again. So why harm him? Let him be allowed to live. No, they are not swept away by these emotions. Raga Adi Vijuktas. A criminal must face penalty in proportion to the amount of offense he has committed. It is from this that arises the theory of karma. No karma goes without producing a result. Right? Raga Adi Vijuktasya He should be devoid of passions. Agriyamana karada paratha vyarati. Vyarati means utterance. Vyarati means a string of words and utterance. Vyarati. Ragadi vijuktas. Agriyamana karada paratha. He says, parartha, an utterance which is meant for the other, which is meant for the other, parartha. When you utter a few words, you mean to communicate something to somebody, isn't it? Or you project somebody who is involved in a dialogue, right? and you say something to him. Just as, for example, in soliloquy, when you, are, when you are nobody around and yet you are talking to somebody, you are talking to yourself, that means you are talking to yours, you are talking to somebody, you are explaining something to somebody. It happens. My father used to do it, my mother used to do it, and perhaps I also do it. 
right? It happens. And in which, you know, agriyamana karana parartha, in which there is no swartha, there is no self-interest. Agriyamana, ragadi vijuktasya, no passions and therefore no self-interest, no attachment, no self-interest. Agriyamana karana parartha, jarati, an utterance which is which is not motivated any passions and which is meant to be conveyed to the other. So that utterance, which conveys some facts, which conveys some facts, any fact, whether a physical effect belonging to physical nature or, or of a spiritual kind, or of a spiritual kind. Like, for example, it often happens that uh, in some cases, as you might have seen while reading newspapers, that some judge, whether in the High Court or in the Supreme Court, recuses himself or herself from the case. He, I will not be a judge in this case. Because my interests are involved or because the counsel of some of the, uh, some, one of the parties has alleged certain things against me, has charged me with certain things. Okay, I refuse myself, right? If my honesty is at stake, I withdraw myself. Let some other judge come in my place. So the point is, we do believe others in nutshell. We do believe others. And why do we believe others? Because we believe others, we, we, because we think that others are believable. That in certain matters, they would not tell a lie. That in certain matters, on certain issues, they know facts better than us. And if we learn from them, then we shall be knowing certain things which he had to make great effort to learn. Right? Panini had to great, make great effort to, to, you know, weave the whole structure of Sanskrit language into some 4,000 sutras. But if we learn from Panini, we understand the Sanskrit, structure of the Sanskrit language, right? So on and so forth. I asked my mother, when did you marry my father? And she tells me, when you were not born. I said, okay. <laughs> I believe it. I believe it. When, I wa when was I born? Well, my son, when I was married. And what follows is understandable. So it's like that. Various facts. I ask you your name. And you tell me this is my name, sir. Why should I disbelieve you? Because some, somehow I believe that this is a matter concerning which this man, who might be lying daily, who might be a congenital liar otherwise, will not lie to me on this matter. As a station master, who might be a congenital liar as regards his relationship with his wife. He would not lie on the issue which concerns the departure of a certain train from a certain platform. Right? Why should he? He is not authorized to lie. He is authorized, he has the authority, and he has the orders to give correct information. So he is duty bound and morally bound to provide con correct information to the passengers. So you trust the station master or whosoever is, is in, you know, in his place. It's like that.
there is a <coughs> good discussion of what certain phrases means, what ling means. I have already explained to one sad sadhar means ling, for example, smoke. Smoke is a mark. Ling means a mark in the case of inference of fire, right? So ling means sadhan also, and sadhya is fire. Sadhya is something that is to be known or is known. There is a discussion of those three things. And in an ancient discussion, it is very beneficial. You please have a look into your Yukti Deepika. Yes? Just a moment, just a moment. Where is the sixth karika? Which is the sixth karika? Samanita sudrishta atindriya nam pratitra numana tasma dapita siddham paroksham aptagama siddham. Let's, let me find this and let me translate this for you. Samanita sudrishta atindriya nam pratitra numana. They are samanita sudrishta. They are samanito drishta anumana, anumana leads to the pratiti. Pratiti means knowledge. Samanito drisht anuman, which I have just tried to explain, which I have tried to explain just now, it leads to the no Where is that? Don't know. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Samanita su drishta, atindriya nam pratitan anumana. Samanito drishta anuman leads to the pratiti, leads to the knowledge of atindriya nam, of those objects which are beyond our senses, beyond our sense organs. That is, objects with which our sense organs are not in contact. For example, fire, the hidden fire, the invisible fire. It is paroksha. Tasvada picha siddham paroksham aptagama siddham. And if Anuman is unable to explain anything, that is, Pratyaksha and Anumana are together unable to explain anything, then that thing is to be known from Aptavachanas. Aptavachanas. For example, today in 21st century, 2017, nobody has seen King Ashok. Right? King Ashok. That it was King Ashok. Nor is there any mark inference. Suppose King Ashok has left nothing, has left no traces. Then we have to learn from history books. Aptashruti. Dependable history books. That there was a certain king, Ashok. Like that. Or especially in the case of uh, uh, Sankhya, uh, the uh, reality called Kapil Muni. We have no idea where he lived, when he lived, and so on. But we have mention after mention, reference after reference to him in religious and uh, philosophical literature that there was a Maharshi Kapil who was the progenitor of Sanch. And about that, there is no disagreement. So we conclude that a certain person, certain Acharya, certain Rishi called Kapil existed at some point of time. What point of time may not be known today, it may be known tomorrow, or perhaps may not be known ever. But that he existed, that he propagated the Sankhya philosophy remains unknown, uh, remains undoubted, unquestioned, right? Then we come to Karika 7. Yes. Oh, yes. Karika 6 here comes after Karika 7. That is why I was not finding. In the Yukti Deepika, 
the order has been slightly changed because the yukti deepika's author thought yukti deepika's author thought that karika 7 need to be commented upon first and from this follows the uh, uh, meaning of karika 6 so karika 6 this i have already done and before this comes karika 7 this means ati durat the karika 6 says please bring them karika 6 let me see now i find it now i know yes Atindriya naam pratiti. Atindriya naam. Of those objects which are beyond our sense organs. Beyond our sense organ does not mean they can never be known by sense organs. That is, which are not known, which are either never known through sense organs or not known through sense organs on particular occasions right this place but why why are they not available to sense organs senses he says ati durad ati durad because they may be farther from us right it may be farther from us i hear the sound of a railway of a railway train and I infer that a railway train is moving but I don't see the railway train that is I am unable to see what it is like what it looks like and perception gives that some characteristics not merely the existence but some characteristics of a train what it looks like, how many compartments it may be having. That is possible only on the basis of perception, not on the basis of inference. So it may be far, it may be far from me. And yet I am able to infer, because the sound is coming. It seems some engine, some engine is moving it is an engine sounds. So there's a train there. Samitya. Or because things are too near. Too near to us. Hamare baad mein zik hai. Cheezen. Is liye hum dekh nahi paate. Can we see our eyes? They are too close to us. <laughs> Can we see our eyes? We can see our eyes in the middle, but not otherwise. That is why mirror came into being. Man wanted to know what it looked like. But why did he want to know uh, what it looked like? Because sometimes, like Narcissus, he found somebody in the water at the place where he was standing. Narcissus. Narcissistic instinct, a person who is in great love with himself. Atmarati. Atmarati. He is not Ragade Vijukta. He is too much attached to himself. Too much attached. He only seeks his own interest. Doesn't care for good or bad. I must progress. You made a promise to me yesterday. What is promise? Circumstances have changed. I asked my publisher, so much delay has taken place in my Yukti Deepika. And there was a contract signed by you with me in 2005. He told me recently, only six months back, circumstances changed. So they were delayed. 
self-interest. Because they thought perhaps it was not that commercially viable. So they changed their mind. So Narcissus looked at a certain figure in the lake or in the pond. Okay. What is this figure like? This is how I imagine mirror might have come into being, the entity called mirror. Because otherwise, I can't know how I look like. I can't know whether my moustache has grown white or remain black. I can't know. So somebody must have looked at, at a certain figure where he stood in, for example, a lake or a river, and then thought, who is this figure? And then calculated by through method of trial and error. Oh, when I approach the lake, the figure comes into being. And when I go away, this figure vanishes. So there's a connection between my being standing on the bank and this figure come into figure appearing, you know, in the water. Oh, it may be mine. And when I touch it, as my grand grandchild, as my grandson used to do it, when he would look into the mirror, he was awestruck. Well, who is this? Who is this figure in the mirror? He was bewildered. He had no conception of a mirror. He was baffled. Who is this man? Gradually, when he says that, when he does this, and in the mirror also, a certain figure does like this. So he says, similar to me. And then he concludes, after a few occasions, it's not similar to me, it's me. <laughs> it's me. So that is how mirror might have developed. So, Sami Pyat, we are too close to Avastas. My heart may be throbbing, but I have not seen my heart throbbing. People tell me, some modern day materialist, I have written some papers on that. A, a student of mine was also asking me yesterday, so this consciousness is, can't it be reduced to physical neurological processes or brain processes? I said, okay, fine. Science says that. Science says that. Firstly, Science need not be the final word on this. I'm not opposed to science, but I'm opposed to certain dogmas to which belief in scientific achievements leads to. Now, suppose I'm sad. Suppose I can be sad at times, just as I can be happy at times. Suppose I'm happy or sad, and I know and I know that I'm happy. If somebody around asks me, how are you? I said, I'm quite okay. I'm very happy these days. I'm in Chinma mission. I said, how do you know it? I would say, I know it because it's my state. It's my mental state. In being happy, I know that I'm happy. In being sad, I know that I'm sad. No, somebody tells me, it's brain that causes this. I said, I don't have to open my brain to know that I am sad. Tell me. I have to open my brain. I have to open my brain to know that I am sad or happy. You can say that when I am sad or happy, my brain is also in a certain state. I can grant that. But you say that my brain state is my mental state. If brain state is my mental state, and there is no difference between the physical brain state 
at my conscious mental state, if there is no difference, then how it is that without having to look at the physical brain state, I come to know that I am happy and I am very sure about it and I think I am unchallengeable on this. Even God can't challenge me on this. If God tells me, if you think you are happy, you are not happy, in fact you are said, I said, okay. I grant you your omniscience, but here I am omniscient as regards my mental states. This is called privileged access of my mental state, incorrigibility. We are incurably correct. So, this was only a slight, perhaps fruitful digression, right? Indriya sami pyar, because things are too close to me. So, my mental states are too close to me. But some, your mental states, your mental states are not close to me. Your physical states are close to me. You may not knowing, you may not be knowing that an insect is moving on your back. I may know it. Why don't he, why doesn't he know it, though it is his body? Why doesn't he know this? Because ati dura, insect is far, farther, farther from him, though near to me, the onlooker. Isn't it? Are you following me? Okay. Indriya ghatar, or sometimes our sense organs may be hurt, may suffer some ailment, may suffer some impairment. One may be deaf and deaf. Or one may be blind. So he can't see. So the objects cannot be in contact with his senses. Mano anavanasthana. I have done this also at sufficient length. Or our mind may be unstable. Unstable means our mind may not be fixed at that particular occasion. I may see somebody and yet not see him because my mind is not oriented towards him. Mind is elsewhere. That is why we need mind. Mind is a principle of attention, as I told you yesterday. Ramesh, did you see that friend of ours yesterday? Yes, I saw him. Was he wearing some clothes? He must be, because I didn't see him naked. He must be wearing. When that means you saw him clothed. Yes, I saw him clothed. What was the, what was the color of his clothes? His shirt. I said, that I don't know. I saw the shirt. But I don't, I don't remember the color of the shirt. Why? Because I did not try to notice the color of the shirt. Though of course, if there is a shirt, it must have a color. Every shirt must have a color. I didn't notice it. Mano anavastha. Is that clear? I have to hurry up a little. So please cooperate with me.